All right. There's been an interesting twist of events. Apparently, this coronavirus, fear, streak, whatever thing happening, is causing a big rift. Whether I think it's worth the fear or not, it's happening. Whole country shutting down. People are talking about possible breakdown of Western civilization, which some people hear like, oh man, I've been waiting 30 years for this. Um, which would be an interesting twist with, uh, you know, Trump getting elected and things ending his, his term ending this way or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with him. Um, all of this happening with a strange alignment, um, with the the, with with my own experience. Um, I've been in La Akea when I came here. I got ready. I felt like I was getting ready to live alone and like live off grid and be ready. And here I am. I'm living off grid, which is fabulous. I'm living at a place where there, if, you know, the world crashed and whatever, there's uh, plenty of resources that would be just fine. Um... Okay, that being said, there's been some dreams lately. Oh, by the way, I hope you don't mind. I'm digging out my nail. It, like, got some stuff shoved in there when I was gardening the other day, and it's hurting, and so my finger's asking me to, like, clean it out. So I've got a needle. I'm digging it out. Okay, so it's helping me think about my story here because I'm, I'm troubled. I'm honestly, I'm troubled. Um... Okay, so I had some dreams. The first dream... I can only remember two of them at this point. Okay, so this one dream I had a couple weeks ago... Oh yeah, I remember now. Um, then I went to Florida. And I was in Florida, and I'm kind of on vacation, and I'm with some people, and I decided to buy this boat because it was really cheap and I was like yeah let's buy a boat that sounds great and um then I was like man what am I doing I gotta get like a trailer to tow this boat around and then I find out that the boat is like a leaky boat and it's not really worth anything that I paid for it and in the dream I just had this feeling like man I should just get rid of it <laughs> just get rid of it it's worth nothing And, like, in this, like, Florida area that I'm in, I, like, went to Florida and I felt all excited to go to Florida and explore Florida. And I get to Florida and it's not that great. It's okay. It was kind of boring. Like, the terrain wasn't fabulous. And um, then I woke up and thought that was kind of interesting. Um, an interesting parallel to where I'm at in the Big Island because the shape of the Big Island, um, it has some very similar terrain and places and, like, characteristics to the continent of the United States, where, like, the West, there's, like, a whole lot of, like, dry, but there's, like, money and sunshine, so it's, like, California and Utah and Idaho kind of feel, and then, um, the South is, like, Boney Town, and there's not much going on, and north, I haven't been to the north. I don't know much about the north. I can't say anything about that. But the east is, like, really rainy and kind of harsh. Like, people aren't as nice. Um, there's a little bit more, like, there's more diversity over on the east, which is funny because there's more diversity in the eastern U.S. Um, from what I perceive. And then the south is like it's like rainy and stuff and like I don't know just kind of uh, similar to Florida so I think my dream was kind of giving me like a you know this is how we really feel about where we're at in the big island um, now that I've been here and I've gotten grounded in and I've seen some reality in it and um, there's a lot of mosquitoes and I just get bit constantly and I'm I, I deal with it but it's not super comfortable and all of this rain is really harsh. You're like wet all the time. All the time. My shirt is totally wet. And, um, you know, you do laundry and then your laundry gets wet and 
If it doesn't dry all the way, then it grows mold. Anyways, man, bad attitude, good attitude. Get your good attitude on. I'm having a great time. Um, I am having a great time. Okay. Second dream. I had this dream that... I might have told you about this, but I can't remember. I'm in this mountain town. And I'm mulling around, and I'm doing all these things, and I'm kind of in a hurry, and I'm busy, and I get in an accident in this car that was like a rental. It was a Chevy that was a friend's rental, and I get in an accident, and I had some friends with me that, like, were doing drugs or something, and somehow I got in trouble for it, and I get sent to prison. I go, go on trial, and I get sent to prison. Oh, but before I did that, I was, like, making plans to go traveling. I had a backpack. I was going to get a passport. Uh, yeah, and then I, I get caught for this, and then I'm just, like, stuck. Like, there's nothing I can do. I get sentenced to 15 years in prison. There's nothing you can do at that point. You can't make any choice to change that. And so I just accept it. And I'm like, wow, I didn't expect my life path to take me that way. Um, okay, well, here we are. Um, it has changed and I'm going to prison and, um, but in the dream, I knew that on the big Island, uh, or in Hawaii, which isn't actually true, I don't think, but, um, in Hawaii, in my dream, I had two months to get ready to get, take care of my affairs before I went and served my, my 15 years sentence. And so I was like, okay, cool. What do I got to do? And I'm thinking about the things I got to do. And I think about the three vehicles I have and how I need to liquefy them. And then I was like, I should take my bicycle with me to prison though. That was part of it. Um, yeah, my backpack and my bicycle. Yeah. Anyways, I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I was so glad it was a dream. I was so glad a dream. It was, it felt so real. Like I was like really, truly like, okay. I accept that this is where my life is going. And then I was like, oh my gosh, thank God it's a dream. <sighs> so then it kind of made me go, like, evaluate. Like, do I need to get a passport? Am I going to get stuck here uh, at La Akea if I'm not careful? If I, Am I going to, you know, do I need to get rid of my vehicles and just get my bike or, like, sell everything and travel and take my bike with me? What do I need to do? Um, but it, there was just, there was definitely a suggestion of, uh, taking care of my, taking care of my affairs or whatever. I had two months to get ready. And so that one kind of sent me into this weird spin panic thing. Um, anyways, it's a couple weeks later now and I haven't done anything about that other than getting a photo taken for a passport. And then I'm like, how do I have money to go traveling? Is that what I want to do? Um, now this Corona thing is happening and they're like canceling flights and stuff. And I'm like, man, is this prison thing kind of going to happen? Like, am I going to get stuck here? Or like, is this my opportunity to get the heck out of here? And should I do that? Because, like, I need a home, don't I? And why do I have this desire to, like, run away all the time? That's that's just it. This is this, this, the thing that happens with me. I desire home. I desire love and home. And then I get it. And I'm comfortable. And then I desire to run away. And here I am, desiring to run away. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. You know, these people are really nice and lovely. And this is fun. But what else is there? And so, what else is there? I don't know. Probably more of the same. So why do I want to go? Uh, do I want to stay and do the work? Do I want to go? What do I need? What do I want? What's life got in store for me? I'm just, you know, following my dreams here. So I have this dream this morning. Um, that I had, that was at this college. And at this, like, college building. I was running around. I'm doing things. I'm busy. I'm always so busy in my dreams. I guess I'm probably pretty busy in this life. And it's trying to show me that. Um, and I had this box, this like box of stuff that I knew I needed to take care of. And I was kind of putting off and kind of putting off. And then I finally get around to taking care of it and going through it to organize this stuff and like put it where it goes. And most of it is stuff that I need to donate, like two thirds of it. 
is stuff I need to donate. And so I'm like, okay, cool. This goes here, and then this whole pile of stuff goes with me, and I'm going to go donate it. And I wake up, like, charged. Like, oh, yeah, I'm ready to donate. I'm ready to donate this stuff. And then I, like, as I'm coming out of it, I'm like, I don't have anything to donate. Huh. Like, I don't... And then I remembered in a dream, one of the things in my pile of stuff to donate, the only thing that I remember specifically was a Ziploc baggie, like a gallon baggie, with toy cars in it. And they were, like, different sizes and different colors. And, um... I remember feeling kind of hung up on the fact that I had spent money on these cars, the, these toy cars. And like, I was like, ah, donate it really? Like, but I spent money and then I thought about it and there's no way for me to really get money for these toy cars. That's silly. And I was like, no, just donate it in the dream. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to donate it. And that's when I woke up. <sighs> so... I don't have any small things, but I have big things. In fact, I have three cars. I have a scooter, an ambulance, and a FedEx truck, and a bicycle. Um, the bicycle's all I really need at this point in my life need. Um, I could really use a car that would help my sanity so that I can, I have a running vehicle to like escape, but a car so that I can take people with me or go pick them up because I like to drive. I like to do errands. So that would be good for my mental health. So yeah, I kind of was like, all right, if I liquidized my three toy cars and got, um, just a car and save the rest of the money then that would be fine there's huts here there's huts that I could totally stay in they've offered me huts and then it's been kind of a hassle trying to figure out where to park these cars and I'm a big pain in the butt I'm a huge pain in the butt I just come here like expecting like yeah I deserve to be here and you guys need to let me uh, I don't know what I'm thinking I, don't know, I just woke up with like this like pff, logic <sighs> so, that being said, I am not going to fully donate these vehicles because honestly, I really spent a lot of money on them and I'm attached to the money, but I'm going to sell them for about a third of the cost. And that's, that is... What am I going to do? It's like this box I had. It was like two thirds of it was stuff to donate, you know? And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to donate two thirds of it. Um, yeah. So I posted it on Craigslist. Um, one guy hit me up about the scooter and was like, well, I mean, we'll see what happens. But he was like, would you want to trade a car for the scooter? And he showed me the car and it was on sale on Craigslist for $2,200. And I bought the scooter for 3000 but I put miles on it. And this car's got low miles and it's a Nissan Sentra 2001. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to look at it. Let's see what happens. Um, anyways, yeah. So that's what's going on. If anybody wants to come to the Big Island and have a really cheap house... That's ready to live in. Let me know. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go, but uh, yeah, dreams and stuff, following them. Weird, weird life, weird feelings. I don't know how to deal with myself. I feel so conflicted. And then you know, yeah, I have this wonderful lover here who's just like so sweet, and she's just so darn nice and. She just supports me. All, all the craziness that I go through. They're like, oh yeah, you're great. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Thank you, Dusty, for thinking I'm wonderful. 
You're wonderful. Okay, well, that's the update of the insanity of the upcoming apocalypse, everybody. Will AC get stuck? Will she travel forever? We'll find out.